As the Vice-Chancellor of the University, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the ceremony for the School of Humanities. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my immediate left, Mr. Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq, who will be receiving an honorary degree of Doctor of Education. On my far left is Dr. Roland Hughes, Dean of the School of Humanities, and on my right is Dr. Mary Watson, the Pro Vice-Chancellor for Education and Student Experience. At the table to my extreme right is Mrs. Helen Davidson, the Deputy Secretary and Registrar, who carries in the university mace, the beautiful mace which you can see in front of me. And if I can just offer a word of warning, the mace is there for my protection. Mrs. Davidson is extremely strong and fit. And if any of you feel inclined to take a, a, a selfie, she may be also inclined to use the mace to stop you. Uh, we will, of course, be delighted to take selfies after the platform uh, process. We'll now proceed with the presentation of awards, and I have pleasure in calling upon Dr. Watson to read a citation for the conferment of an honorary degree on Mr. Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq. Vice-Chancellor, graduands and guests, it is my pleasure to read the citation for the conferment of the honorary award of Doctor of Education upon Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq. Faisal is dedicated to reforming and improving education and literacy in Pakistan. He is a leading national teaching and learning practitioner and a social entrepreneur and has made a significant contribution to the education system in his home country. It's extremely challenging to capture all that he has achieved and the high regard in which he is held in a short citation. Faisal credits his mother, a teacher, as his inspiration. Growing up, he would see the difference she made in the lives of her students as she taught, counseled, advised and inspired them. He recognized then the enormous difference that a good education makes. Faisal's first steps into the world of work were in the area of finance. He graduated from the University of Salford with a degree in accounting and finance in 2001 and was recruited by Price Waterhouse Coopers Consulting in the City of London on its graduate recruitment program. Faisal enjoyed his career as a business and finance consultant, but as he reflected on his journey, he realized that he wanted to have a greater impact on the world. In April 2005, he flew back to Pakistan, leaving behind a prestigious career in the UK finance industry to the surprise of his family and friends in order to make a difference there. Faisal started by teaching accounting. He then introduced and pioneered the concepts of curriculum diversity, digital inclusion, training, coaching and mentoring, school and college counselling and foreign languages into the country's education system. From his passion for change, the Roots Millennium Education Group and the Millennium University's Colleges, TMUC, were born. Between them, these organisations offer continuous education at all levels, from early years through to an advanced undergraduate degree and postgraduate diploma. Faisal also realised that there was no institution in Pakistan that offers transnational education. He was keen to change that and approached the University of Hertfordshire to partner with TMUC. He credited the university's business-facing stance, its emphasis on employability, and its global local outlook with making hearts a perfect fit for what he wanted to achieve through TMUC. To date, more than 350 students have achieved University of Hertfordshire degrees as a result of this partnership 
Nearly 450 are actively studying through a three-year programme and more than 500 students have applied directly to study here on campus in the UK. Faisal has set up the not-for-profit Change in Education Foundation to work with the public education system in Pakistan, bringing reform and opportunities to deserving children all over the country. The Change in Education Foundation has successfully reformed more than 200 government schools across Pakistan over the last 15 years. Faisal's significant contribution has been widely acknowledged. In 2013, he was one of the youngest ever people to be conferred with one of the highest national civil awards in Pakistan, the tama e imtiaz the equivalent of a knighthood, by the President of Pakistan in recognition of his outstanding services to languages promotion, education, literacy, youth and advocacy. He has been named as one of the 500 most influential Muslims in the country for three consecutive years. In 2012, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry identified him as the best young entrepreneur of the year. In 2014, he was named best educationalist of the year by the President of Pakistan in recognition once again of his contribution to education, teaching and learning. In 2018, he was made the Minister for School and Higher Education, Human Rights and Social Welfare in the interim government, reflecting his significant impact he has made to the millions of lives he has touched in his home country. We are delighted to be adding to this impressive list of awards today. Vice Chancellor, in recognition of outstanding achievement, I ask that you confer the honorary award of Doctor of Education upon Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq. I now call upon Dr. Mushtaq to address the assembly. Thank you very much. Honorable Vice Chancellor, graduates, proud parents, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. Thank you, University of Hertfordshire. I would like to thank you all, and most profoundly, Vice Chancellor and the University, for this extraordinary and the most humbling recognition of the honorary award of Doctor of Education for my services to the home country, Pakistan. It comes as a gratifying surprise. I'm immensely honored, Vice Chancellor. When I was in Pakistan, I was reflecting, what did I do right to deserve this recognition? But after spending 10 days and day zero in a West Heathrow quarantine hotel, I do honestly feel I deserve this recognition. <laughs> day zero was important to note. I feel most privileged to receive the doctorate honoris causa from the most prestigious, diverse, employable, and the business-facing university of the world, the University of Hertfordshire. I accept the honorary degree wholeheartedly on behalf of the hardworking and the passionate teaching and learning community of Pakistan, women and men and children in particular across our classrooms. Thank you all very much. What does it mean to me? People ask me, what do you do? And I say, I trade in hope. For me, teaching and learning is a journey, not a destination. This award shall further strengthen my commitment to promote more inclusive and equitable education in my country, aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 2030. My dear graduates, you are digital natives, not digital immigrants. Everyone shall ask you, what is your story? Even Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, they ask you daily, what is your story? 
you must have a story or at least have a storyboard based on your passion, skills, and subject. Or think about one, curate one, or become a story yourself. Take your time as your journey has just started. From a very early age after my graduation, when I was working in London, I realized what good is a profit if it does not profit the society. So I created my own story based on my self-actualized principles of people, planet, and passion. Taking inspiration from my hardworking and noble parents as educationists, I realized at a very early age that schools around the world, they sponsor knowledge societies, and universities around the world, they sponsor knowledge economies. So I decided to trade in hope and social impact. My mom wanted me to be a chartered accountant, and that's the reason I studied finance and accounting, whereas I had a flair for politics, philosophy, and economics. My head was at the right place, but not my heart. So one fine day, I decided that I will write my story in a country or in a community where it is more likely to be read. And I flew back to Pakistan, leaving behind a prestigious career here in the UK. My fellow graduates, in today's time and age, the only thing which is certain is called uncertainty. The only constant in the world is called change. And the only thing that you must learn should be your ability to unlearn and relearn. You are citizens and the voices of the pandemic. I call you pandizens, just like netizens. With the scale world has never seen before, you have the opportunity to transform this adversity into an opportunity, both in terms of the jobs that you seek and the jobs that you create as budding graduates or as enabling entrepreneurs. The importance of your university education, I have been reflecting on it as a full circle of life. In the very first scenes of the 1994 Disney classic, The Lion King, the King Mufasa talking to his son Simba, he says, everything that you see exists together in a thin, delicate balance. Yes, we are all connected, the circle of life, meaning that we start at the end and we end in the beginning. Our lives from the beginning to an end resemble a complete circle. No matter how big or small the circle is, it will end exactly the same way for everyone. Graduates, on this special day where you have worked so hard for your reward, let me give you five takeaways to trade in hope. Number one, whatever you do, trade in equity. As graduates, remember, what good is private equity in absence of social equity? What good is the capital market in absence of human capital? And if we had more social equity today, we would have seen a more fairer, equitable, and a just world. Takeaway number two, trade in inclusion. As nature needs to be nurtured, and if green is the new red, and if blue is the new economy, and if Brexit is the name of the new exit, then remember, inclusivity is the new exclusivity for the membership of the Club of Life. Number three, trade in empathy. Do your business of life with empathy as equity, and you will see the windfall of dividends. Empathy overshadows sympathy and is the single common denominator for your happiness, well-being, and joy in the celebration of life. Takeaway number four, trade in sustainability. The key to understanding the future is one word, sustainability. What good is a social science degree in absence of a social impact? And remember, whatever you do, it should be scalable, it should be sustainable, and it must have a social impact. If you trade your career choices based on the five principles of equity, inclusion, empathy, sustainability, and humanity, you may be able to complete your own circle of life. I would say talent these days is asymptomatic. You need to test yourself. Trends have changed. Some may be positive, but not very happy. Some may be negative, yet very happy, like myself. I call it the self-actualization test. You need to do it yourself. Finally, thank you, Pakistan, for giving me the opportunity to help make a difference. My family, 
my friends, some sitting here, my teaching and learning colleagues, my students and my staff, thank you. Thank you, mom and dad, for raising me well, my lovely wife, Anna, my son, Ahil, my daughter, Jannat, back home in Pakistan. Thank you for your unconditional love and enduring support. In the end, as we stand today in the house of God, we must reflect clearly why nature is in conflict with science. And for that, you must make the choices that you make. You must make the right choices that you make. You must take the chances that you need to take. And you must create the change that you all wish to see in support of your dreams. Remember, talent is universal. Opportunity is not. As you graduate with a huge opportunity today, I wish you the best in your endeavors. And as the Vice Chancellor, Professor Quinton says, go Hertz. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, my dear graduates, I thank you all very much. Well done, Faisal. That was lovely. Really excellent. Well done. Well done. You can sit down now.